absolutely could not have done that any better. Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco uh, coming at you for another 12.4.3 drive. Uh, we are doing our test route one. If you have not seen that, I'll put the playlist down below in the description. That is going to give you a full list of almost every single version of full self driving on that route. Uh, so if you want to see from the very beginning where full self driving started, and you can see how far it's come from the very beginning, then you can do that. Every single way, the same exact route, same exact road, I keep everything as consistent as possible. And it's very important to me to keep my routes as consistent as possible. Do not vary any more than I have to. It's cool to have random drives here and there, but that's not scientific. If you want to see how the car is performing, you need to do it exactly the same route in as similar conditions as possible. Obviously, time of day, weather, you know, temperature, all that type of stuff, your uh, traffic, you're not going to be able to affect. But that's the whole point. You, you, the same road is what matters, and then it reduces the amount of variables as much as possible. And so we're going to see. You no, know, traditionally we've had, we've many times we've had zero disengagements, not zero interventions. The last time, eleven that, uh, sorry, twelve that four that one, we've had zero zero um, interventions like hands free zero interventions the entire way there I was so impressed the last time we did this drive and so we're going to see if we can do it again like even better so this is the first time I've gotten on the highway with 12.4.3 that that and oh, did they get rid of it guys why did you why did you oh that was a 12.4.2 that that thing Oh, man, they turned the blinker on to merge onto the highway, and it did it twice. So I was certain that it had to do with that version. Maybe they decided to backtrack it or something, or maybe some code for 12.5 got put into 12. I, I don't know. But that's disappointing. Why? Why would they? Why would they remove that? That was such a good improvement. Like I, honestly, I think it was a safety improvement because it needs to merge onto the highway and then switch the stacks. Now I didn't look. Um, to see if it actually switched. So perhaps it did. But yeah, that's um that's something that really needs to happen. 12.5 is really gonna help improve that. I was hoping it would have that. I'm going up to Michigan next weekend. So a week from today I'll be driving driving up to Michigan. And that that's something that ca can cause disengagements. Uh, I did last year. Uh, did I do last year? Whatever, yeah, last year with version 11. Just got version 11, and so we're going up on the highway. It's to be braking. I think it's braking right before there's a cyclist up here or something, or a cyclist motorcycle. Or maybe the shadows. This. What's it doing? It's gotta be this motorcycle. Changing ways with blocked path. Yeah, there's some. This is ironic, because <laughs> I would have said this version has issues with it. I, it thinks this motorcycle is blocking the path, I guess. I don't know, that, that I haven't seen that they've, they've changed something with the highway on these versions. It, they aren't just tweaking version 12, they are tweaking version 11 as well. Should be getting over lanes. Yeah, see, this needs to be a little bit more aggressive right here. And this is because it's still version 11. Version 12 would have no problem with this, I'm certain. It would have just got over and sped back up. sped up, which is annoying. I think this, the car in front of me right now is inconsistent speed. See, look. Yeah, see, I'm having to slow down now for the car, this red car that passed me because they were, they caught up to me. Oh, now I'm just trying to try and get back over. No, see, that's the thing. This is why I don't like version 11 because it does stuff like this. 
Like, there's no reason it should have tried to get over right there. No reason at all. This, the, this shouldn't happen right now. We're, we're very close to our exit. It should just stay in the right lane. Like, this is, this is how humans drive, but humans just <laughs> are impatient. There's no reason it needed to get over. It's gonna get over, it's gonna get in front one by one spot, which it should have done in the first place. Just passed and got over and would have been fine instead of having to slow down. Like, there's no reason it needed to do this, in my opinion. Is it fine? Yeah, sure. But in my opinion, there's no, like, from a robotaxi standpoint, you're not saving any time. 10 seconds of time. I don't know. Because every additional lane change you do on the highway is extra risk you're adding, technically, from a safety standpoint. It's always extra risk that something could, could happen, that you could, car could run into you, etc., etc. Now we're going way too fast for getting off the, like, way too fast for getting off the highway. Like, it should turn the blinker on now. Okay. Car wasn't going to exit highway. Was about to run into the ramp or whatever you call it. And this is, like, guys, this is, uh, like... Yeah, I'm, it's true. this is not a great start to the day. We're going up to, I guess I didn't mention that, we're going up to Asheville today to do some testing. I haven't done it in a very long time. But that was version 11. And for some reason, it thought the road was closed or something. I don't know. That's That's been doing it on all the um, version uh, version uh, 12, top 4 updates. has been doing that every single time. And it, it can't get off the highway there. And also, it's going way too fast in here. Oh man, guys, this is I. Why? Why does they had to fix it for the other guys, where they were having poor drives on eleven that four that one, eleven that four that two, and now eleven that four that three is worse for me, so far. Like this is this is so frustrating. Maybe it's just a bad first drive, but man. move turn. So guys, I'm just processing all the you know, little changes in this version so far and I'm just I can't help but think, so Chris from Dirty Tesla, an AI driver they are both on hardware 4 I think so is Omar um, on his new cars for whole Mars and so I just I just wanted to actually point out real quick that lane change is a good thing, That that was good um, it didn't used to go ahead and get over in this lane, but I think it's because it, the traffic was backed up, so it decided to get in the faster lane. It is a good thing to be in the left lane already right here. But yes, all their cars have hardware 4, and mine has hardware 3. There is a, I think there is a reason why my car was having better performance. They lit this car in, and knew the blinker is on. That's, that's cool. Uh, anyways, it knew, uh, my car was hardware 3, and theirs was hardware 4. Which is why I was having such good performance and they were not. Because their cars are emulating what my car does. Something with the emulation process is, was causing weird behaviors. And I suspect now, some, they tweaked something to 11.4.3. And it's just it's causing more problems. Then 11.4.2 is the best version for me. And I suspect that's why. It's because the, I have hardware green, they have hardware 4. Now I should get all the way over in the far left lane here. Good. So the only reason last time it went through, I don't know if I even got that on video. It went through this right lane um, because it was backed up with traffic. I should go ahead and go. It's, it's good to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is, could not have done this any better. Absolutely could not have done that any better. Grew a blinking yellow, no hesitancy. 
all the way through, that's great. That's super great. That that makes me feel better. That's again, uh, and I did that as well as eleven that four that one. See, you have weird stuff like this. This didn't happen on eleven that four that one and eleven that four that two. Not near as much as I saw it. There's a little that swerve. It's like it's swerving for the shadows in the road or something. Maybe I I'm, maybe I'm a little bit earlier in the morning. That that that's why time of day does matter because you have different shadows on the road. So look at that again. It's the shadow. It thinks there's something in the road. I now I can't see on the screen necessarily. Look at the screen. Maybe next time we have a shadow come out, I'll look at the screen and see if anything pops up. Anything? No, I don't see. I don't see anything on the screen. I don't know if that's why that that those little jerks like that will cause passengers to not like the system. They can't do that. At least not on a regular basis. Like one one every drive, sure. That this is okay. It's a fluke, whatever. Someone will uh, ignore it. But if it happens like five, ten times on a single drive, then it, it, it starts to be a problem. And so that's it's already happened three to four times or, uh, on this drive. Maybe maybe it has happened five times already. It's happened a lot on this drive enough for me to like actively notice it. I'm like, okay, why does it keep on swerving like that? It shouldn't be doing that. Unfortunately, it did, it just it didn't get off the highway. If I turned on the blinker, which would have been an intervention, because now I'm trying to get zero intervention drives, um, it would have made it. it. It would have got off the highway. But because I didn't turn the blinker on, well, I had to disengage, which is unfortunate. Like I don't understand why. I, I disengaged, and they had that data from the previous versions, but they didn't fix it. Yeah, I don't know. I was carrying a trailer at that time. I thought, okay, certainly it's because of the trailer, but no, I'm not carrying the trailer right now. I have the ball hitch on, which is not going to affect anything. There's no reason that should affect anything. But, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, be besides that, this is just as good as 11.4.1 on this route. If not, actually, no, it won't. I said it's actually because of the swerves, it's little jerky swerves. Um, it's actually slightly worse. Because I didn't have that. Now, there's different traffic, different time of day. That was afternoon, late afternoon. Um, this is early morning. So, I don't know. Uh, a lot of different factors. Also, this is less traffic this morning. <laughs> Ironically, you think that would make it easier, but maybe that could make it harder. But yeah, so we have one unprotected left before this is done. And um, I don't suspect it's going to have an issue here. I don't see any oncoming traffic. The car must not know where they're going. I got into the lane last second. Yep, it's going to be a problem. Hopefully they don't take a left here. Because I'm taking a left here. Got the <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, we're going to normally, so we're going to do our target drive after this. Okay, everyone, fell off the road a tiny bit. Anyways, so yeah, that's going to be the end of this drive, everyone. Uh, if you have questions for me, put them down in the comments down below. I can't say this is better um, yet. We'll see what Asheville brings for us. Um, look forward for those videos later this week, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.